Hi guys, it's been a while since my last video. Um, this time um, I have in mind to do a project where we're gonna go and look at different aspects of using Rhino uh, for uh, architectural composition. Um, this video basically will go through some of the tricks and uh, tips on how to create uh, architectural elements and we're gonna use as an example this uh, mock-up building it is something that I'm uh, uh, that I'm modeling you know uh, just for the purpose of this tutorial I got inspired uh, by this building from uh, Chipperfield in Valencia um, it's a very intelligent building it has this circulation around here it's where the America's Cup take place so these big plates they uh, work as a, a stage basically so people can look at the uh, race um, the circulation it's on the outside because eventually it's very warm there so they can use the uh, natural ventilation and also these massive elements they uh, work as a, a shading so you know I did this model it's not the same uh, a lot of people write that this model it's actually uglier please don't do that because the purpose of this model is to teach you how to use uh, Rhino okay um, okay so we can start maybe with the very first tip uh, before even importing plans or a re a reference line the first thing that I do is to import a little scale model that makes me understand you know what I'm doing with the extrusions how far I'm going on the X and Y uh, coordinates um, so that that I have a reference um, in the next tutorials we're gonna look at uh, uh, how to create stairs how to make them thick um, and how to you know go uh, along with creating windows, doors, and all these kind of things. So the aim of this uh, tutorial series will be to um, make you guys able to use Rhino to create an architecture pr uh, project from scratch um, until the point where you will have to go in post-production after the renders and uh, make it look pretty in uh, Photoshop or anything, alright? So, I hope you like it, just uh, give me some suggestions on what you want to see, what you need to learn, and we'll take it from there, okay? Thank you very much.